Real Madrid midfield star Eduardo Camavinga is determined to secure a starting spot amid fierce competition in the Real Madrid midfield for next season. The youngster has cut short his vacation in order to join the team for the preseason as he is looking to impress Carlo Ancelotti from day one. We are going to be detailing you through that on this episode as we progress. And shortly after that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid starlet Enturich continues to offer him to newly promoted La Liga club Leganes. We are also going to be detailing you through that on this episode as we progress, so please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. Eduardo Camavinga has grown into one of Carlo Ancelotti's trusted resources at Real Madrid. Last season, the Frenchman made 31 appearances for the club in La Liga, including 21 starts, and even played the full 90 minutes against Borussia Dortmund in the UEFA Champions League final, where he was absolutely incredible. With Kylian Mbappe set to arrive, and a change in formation spoken of, the youngster is aware that the upcoming campaign will once again future ruthless competition. As revealed by Spanish publication Marca, Camavinga is determined to push himself and become a regular starter this time around, come what may. The 21 years old French phenom has not returned to training under Carlo Ancelotti's command yet and is on vacation after Frank's run to the semi-finals of the Euros 2024. Kamavinga notably did not feature much for DJ Destam side and only played 90 minutes in Le Bleu's clash against Portugal. Despite being on vacation, the former Rene star is working hard every day to stay in shape and ready for the preseason tour. He is already in the United States and will directly join the squad on July 31st. If needed, Real Madrid make the shift to a three-man midfield next season. The department will witness unforeseen competition. Aurelien Chouameni, Jude Bellingham appears to be well served as regular starters given their importance to the team. That leaves only one spot for which Luka Modric, Federico Valverde, Eduardo Camavinga, Adagule and even Dani Ceballos must compete for. It will be interesting to see how the Italian tactician opts to deploy his peers in the upcoming season. Needless to say, the team's success will largely depend on his selection. Rumors have it that Ancelotti might play a three-man midfield with a three-man attack where he might have the likes of Jude Bellingham, the first man on the team sheet. Aurelien Chouameni is the only and best defensive midfielder of the squad and also Federico Valverde, who will be the three-man midfield while the front line will consist of Vinicius Jr, Kylian Mbappe and Rodrigo. As a result, if Real Madrid have to defend, they will also have to play a 4-4-2 formation where either Rodrigo will drop deep to help in defense where he will support the Valverde defensive actions of the game or Kamavinga will start while Rodrigo will be benched. But none of that is clear yet, so stay tuned, more updates will be provided in our future episodes. Stay tuned so you do not miss out. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are now going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid starlet Enturich continues to offer him to newly promoted La Liga club. Nico Pass is widely regarded as one of the most talented young prospects to have come through the Real Madrid academy ranks in recent years. 
the 19 years old Argentine ace made his first team debut for Los Blancos in the season gone by and even scored a goal in the game against Napoli in the UEFA Champions League. However, given the intense competition in the midfield in the senior team, a spot in Carlo Ancelotti's squad for the young star, and as such, an exit is not ruled out as he might not have a spot. As was reported previously, Nico Pazzi's entourage had offered him to newly promoted La Liga club La Leganes, but they were uninterested in signing as they had other priorities. Despite that, Spanish publication Diario AS reports that Real Madrid academy product family continues to offer him to Leganes, hoping to secure a move for the Argentine in the current transfer window. On Wednesday, the 24th of July, Nico Paz's father and agent, former Argentine footballer Pablo Paz, held a meeting with Jeff Vetter, head of global scouting at Blue Crow, the owner of Leganes. During the meeting, Pablo Paz insisted that Nico and his family would love to see the young boy playing in the blue and white colors. If his destiny is to leave Real Madrid this summer, something that remains to be seen. The meeting did not go beyond the insistence on looking favorable towards Leganes, which is nothing new considering that this message has been updated for months. However, at this stage of the market, Leganes' priority for the reinforcement is completely different. The club slowed to the extreme in the work of new additions, wants to tie down as a priority a goalkeeper, a centre-back, a right-back or a right-winger. They are not looking for a midfielder of a profile like Nico's as they already have similar players in the squad. For now, young Nico, who set up two goals in the friendly win against Albacete earlier this week, will be traveling to the United States for the preseason tour. A decision on his future will likely be made after that. So, more updates will follow in our future episodes. Stay tuned so you do not miss out. So, having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.